Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Heritage Action Presidential Forum in Greenville, South Carolina. Here to introduce us to Heritage Action for America, please welcome to the stage our grassroots director, Jessica Anderson. And welcome to the Heritage Action Presidential Candidate Forum. Boy, do we have an exciting night planned for each of you. As you make your way to your seats, we're gonna go ahead and get started by telling you a little bit more about Heritage Action. Yeah, oh, we can't hear you? You can't hear me? All right, let's hear it, it's coming. Senator Jim DeMitt and Governor Nikki Haley will be our hosts tonight, and our moderator will be Mike Needham. Now, many people think that politics is only about whether the red team or the blue team wins. Well, Heritage Action was launched in 2010 by our sister organization, the Heritage Foundation, to change that. Why? Because winning is only step one. Step two is where we come in holding members of Congress and elected officials accountable to the right ideas and a vision for America. <laughs> Heritage Action is unique in the world of Washington because we were created to go over the heads of Congress and work directly with you, the American people. And we aren't just a voice in DC, no. We are working tirelessly in local communities all across America with our Sentinel team. We call our activists Sentinels because Sentinel means to stand guard. And these activists are standing guard for freedom everywhere. Let's take a look. I just felt crippled with fear and inaction. And I remember every morning I'd fall to my knees in prayer next to the bed, wondering, asking God, what can I do to make this better? How can I be part of the solution, not part of the problem? Five years ago, when my husband and I retired, um, we had this long range plan when we first got married to retire after 30 years of work. And it was, the McCain-Obama campaign no way. And I could see that the winds, the political winds were favoring Obama, and that was a scary thing. And we had a market crash. And so half of the things that we had saved on paper were now wiped out. So I started to venture over to my local GOP in hopes of finding something to do for the election. And there was really nothing going on was very disheartening. I was just looking for some way to make a difference and do something. Well, I've been a longtime member of the Heritage Foundation, so I was personally contacted by Russ Vogt and Jessica Anderson when Heritage Action was uh, just starting up, and they were looking for activists to write letters to the editor on the Affordable Health Care Act. So I said that I would, and they provided me some wonderful research and talking points to help me craft my letter. I submitted the letter, it was published, and our relationship grew from there. They do the same with each Sentinel. It's a very personal relationship they develop with Sentinels, and that's what separates them from all the other organizations out there that I've tested. There's all these tools in an activist tool chest, and Heritage Action is there to teach activists how to use those tools. Now I look forward to the future because I know that I'm making a difference. As a Sentinel, we have our voices heard individually. And when you add up our team with all the other teams that are growing across this country as Sentinels, we're gonna be a force to be reckoned with. And we will be heard in DC and help shape policy and help take our country back to its founding principles. Wow, what an incredible story that I'm so many in this room tonight can relate to. 
And I think there are some Sentinels here. Do we have any Sentinels in the house tonight? <laughs> Woo! The Sentinels here with us tonight are representative of the 12,000 Sentinels that are all across the country. Sentinels like Ginny that you saw in the video, they make up the backbone to Heritage Action. Our grassroots Sentinels, coupled with our Washington, D.C. Government, uh, government relations team, is a force of change in Washington. We are committed to changing Washington, to making it no longer politically profitable to do the wrong thing. We are fighting back. We are fighting back against the Washington establishment, and it doesn't stop with Congress. No, this fight continues through 2016 all the way to the White House. And as far as national elections go, friends, I don't have to tell you how important this election is. This coming election, it's about freedom. This coming election, it's about growing the economy. This coming election, it's about limiting government. This election is about taking back America from eight years of failed policy. So I want to know, Greenville, I want to hear you shout, do you love your freedom? Do you want to grow the economy? Do you want to limit government? And do you want to take America back from Barack Obama? Yeah. Woo! Then friends, Heritage Action and the Sentinel program is for you. Text action now to 88588 and become a fighter. A fighter for freedom, a fighter committed to changing Washington. Text ACTION to 88588 now and join the 12,000 Sentinels in Sentinel Nation today. We need you. America needs you. We need to take back America, and it starts tonight. With you, with us, with this forum, and with God's great plan for our still great nation. So friends, I'm excited about the program that we have in store for you tonight. I'm excited for you to hear from these candidates, and we're going to get started momentarily. So hold on to your seats, and let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise and remain standing for the singing of the National Anthem of the United States of America, led by the Tiger Roar a cappella group from Clemson University. And now, to present the colors, the Pershing Rifle Company from Clemson University. Gallantly stream. 
Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our moderator for the evening, the Chief Executive Officer of Heritage Action for America, Michael Needham. Wow. Hello, South Carolina. Y'all ready to have fun tonight? We are gonna have a great evening. And by the end of this evening, you're gonna know more about these presidential candidates than you ever have found out from other events. This is gonna be a fantastic night. I wanna first start off and recognize all of our Sentinels front and center on the floor. Hello, Sentinels. <laughs> Looks like an army to me. So my guess is that the reason so many of you are spending your Friday night here with us is that you're concerned about the future of the nation. Am I right? Are you concerned with a political class that is completely out of touch with the issues that we all care about? Well, tonight's going to be interesting. Where else do the candidates go to answer real policy questions and prove that they're the ones who can provide opportunity for all Americans and not favoritism to the special interests that run Washington, D.C.? And they're not going to be judged by media pundits or political consultants or just a few donors. They're going to be judged by all of us. All of us who are desperate for leadership in Washington, D.C. Somebody who's going to go to Washington, D.C. as president, not because they want to join the party, but that they're ready to join the fight. And so let, you can clap. <laughs> let me tell you a little bit about our format for tonight. Tonight, each candidate's gonna come on stage one by one for 25 minutes. It's gonna start off with a two minute video that we've asked each of them to make, explaining how their presidency would uniquely provide opportunity for all Americans and favoritism to none. After that, they'll take a series of policy-focused questions from Governor Nikki Haley, from myself, and from a few sentinels that we've asked to join us on stage. None of these are gonna be gotcha questions. They're all policy-focused questions that are gonna show who truly is willing to fight for conservatives all across America. Who can go out and inspire Americans and prove to them that it's our solutions that make life better for all? Who, as President of the United States, will go there and truly help us take back America? I want to tell you the biggest lie in Washington, D.C. And let me be honest, there's a lot of lies in Washington, D.C. It's that Washington's broken. Washington's not broken. It's a finely tuned machine that works for incumbent politicians. It works for their consultants. It works for the K Street lobbyists whose entire job is to preserve the status quo. Tonight's going to be different. Tonight, it's your voice that matters. Tonight, everybody inside the Beltway who prefer not to have to listen to you is going to hear your voice. Tonight, we're part of a movement, and it's a movement that's going to take back America.
It is now my great honor to introduce somebody who I know is the real Mr. Smith comes to Washington. Many of you know him as your neighbor and your former senator. Ladies and gentlemen, Jim DeMint. feels like home. It is home. Welcome to my hometown of Greenville, South Carolina. Thanks for being here, folks. Now, how many folks are from uh, South Carolina here tonight? Let me see, see some hands. All right. Now, I want everyone who's not from South Carolina to stand up here so we could just give you a warm South Carolina welcome. All right. Thank you for coming. Are we ready to take back America? Is that what we're here for? Folks, you know, this president, President Obama, has probably done more to hurt this country than anyone in my lifetime. He, I don't think I'm exaggerating. He's undermined our culture, our economy, our security, our defense, and our standing in the world. And all of us are frustrated that Republican leadership in Washington has done very little to stand up to him during his eight years in office. We all know what we need. We need real, common sense, conservative leadership in the White House, in Congress, and in every state across this land. And that's what tonight is all about. That's what the next election is all about. That's why Heritage Foundation and Heritage Action work all over the country to build support for common sense, conservative solutions that make this country stronger and make life better for every American. The left tries to divide all of us into different groups and play one group against another. Rich against the poor, black and white, young against old. But folks, we've talked to millions of Americans, really thousands directly, but through mail and online. We know that Americans don't want to be part of an interest group or a minority. They want to be Americans. And what they want from their government is opportunity for all, favoritism for none. What they tell us, they're tired of Washington handing out favors to the politically connected big interests in Washington, picking winners and losers, handing out grants and subsidies to different groups. Tonight, we're going to ask the candidates to tell you and the whole country what will they do? What are their ideas going to do to create opportunity for every American and cut off the status quo favoritism that we see throughout Washington today? Our ideas can unite America. We know it. Every American would like a fair chance to have an opportunity in this land, and we can pull this country together around our ideas. I want to ask you one favor before we get started. I know we've all come here tonight with our favorites in the race. And I expect you to cheer for those that you like and the answers that you like. But these candidates have come a long way. They've had a grueling schedule. Let's show them the courtesy and respect that they would expect from good Southern hospitality. So when you, let's, <clears throat> so when you hear an answer you like, you can clap. When you hear an answer you don't like, I think if you're just quiet, they'll get the message very loudly from you. <laughs> Folks, now it is my honor to introduce to you my co-host for this event, a great friend of mine, a conservative champion here in South Carolina and across the country, our governor, Nikki Haley. <clears throat> It's a great day in South Carolina, and you've got a lot of friends here tonight. It is a great day in South Carolina, and I am thrilled that we could be doing this with Jim and with the Heritage Action for America. So much of what we're trying to do is use the power of our voices. And I'll tell you, I am blessed to serve with many great governors across this country. But let me just give you some examples of why this is so hard. In South Carolina, we're proud to say we'll, we build planes with Boeing. 
We build cars with BMW and now Mercedes-Benz and Volvo. We have five, yes, five international tire companies with Michelin, Bridgestone, GT Tire, Trailborg, so many different tire companies, all international. And do I need to tell you every one of them's non-union? But this is the hard part. The hardest part about my job is dealing with Washington, D.C. Every day when we wake up, we're trying to build things in America. I want it made in America. I want it made in South Carolina. And I have a president that's pushing regulations and policies, pushing it out to China and Mexico. We want to go and have good health care policies that offer opportunities for everyone efficiently. And we have a president pushing mandates and Medicaid expansions and state exchanges that we don't want. We have a country that we want to be strong in opportunity. We have a country that we want to allow us to do the education policies we want to do, not the way DC wants us to do. And we have a state who's worked very hard to keep the labor unions out and be a strong right to work state. And we have a president with the National Labor Relations Board that keeps trying to push them right back in. So what I am saying today is your voice matters. For those of you from South Carolina, you showed it before. I was running against a governor, a lieutenant governor, a congressman, and a state senator. We didn't have any money. We didn't have the establishment. But what we had, were grassroots, passion, and the power of our voice. I'm asking you to do for the country what you did for me. Let's elect someone that's a fighter. Let's elect someone that's conservative. Let's elect someone that understands they work for the people and not the other way around. So tonight is our opportunity to do that. I will tell you, we've got thousands of people here tonight. We could not be more excited. And what this discussion is intended to be is policy, not rhetoric. This is policy. It's going to be substance. It's going to be from activists. It's going to be from policy engagers. And you're going to see me engage. And our goal is to give you real answers to what you're looking for. So enjoy the night. This is going to be great fun. This is going to be great policy. And one of these people will be the next president of the United States. And now I want to turn it over to my good friend, Mike Needham. Let's get started. Have a great night. Thank you, Governor Haley.